Welcome to Windows on the World Extra, our show on infiltration and the paid agents who discredit and attack researchers in alternative media seem to have had some effect. The YouTube video of it attracted some interesting and predictable comments. There has also been a further attack on myself on the TPV forum. This is very timely as the documents have been released on how government is paying people to attack anyone not spouting state propaganda. As we also revealed, the fake stories are being peddled to discredit and entrap researchers and groups who are capable of real investigative journalism. I'm with David Shaler, ex-MI5 officer and whistleblower, to discuss this and what we can do about it. And it's um, a training guide for GCHQ and NSA agents on infiltrating and disrupting alternative media online. The four Ds are deny, disrupt, degrade and deceive. Um, this is known as online covert action. Something appeared on the TPV forum a few days ago and we were already attacked by these people. And it's, very, it's a very interesting as an example of exactly what they're talking about in the document. These people don't seem to have any imagination. They just seem to work to a rule book. So in other words, most of it is reversal, isn't it? Yeah, no, well, the, the, the fact you say they work to a rule book is that's how the opposition work. They, they almost literally have a handbook about how yeah. they deal with each aspect of protest or rebellion or whatever else. And, and they don't like uh, departing from the rules because they work in a very hierarchical structure. And if you lower down the structure and you depart from the rules, you're going to get in trouble with the people higher up, even if what you do works, you know. So they are following the rule book, and the rule book says, yes, as you say, the four Ds. And, and of those, you know, say, this is what it's all about, you know. Chapman Pinch wrote a book about intelligence services called Their Trade is Treachery. Yeah. And this is, what it, this is what the intelligence service is about. They're not about protecting you, because the um, invasions of Afghanistan and Iraq have put us at far greater risk. That put our lives at far greater risk of, of attack from extremists. But what they have been doing all that time is trying to put out misinformation about things like 9-11, for example. So before we talk about this case, I will say that one of the person who, who was involved with this faction we know about was also involved in removing me from 9-11 when we were having enormous success in uh, up until early 2007. Because in many cases they work on people's small mindedness rather than people actually being prey to the operation themselves, being party to that, yeah? That's absolutely correct. So yeah, yeah. so people coming to me attacking me, shouting at me, screaming at me, uh, including, I say, this person in the 9-11 Truth Movement. Now, that, the, at that point, the 9-11 Truth Movement split. And after that, it fell apart. It never had the same profile, because at that point, we were getting on things like the Jeremy Vine show, Sky News, mm -hmm. um, and the Stephen Walsh show. And these are all things with millions of viewers, basically. So that was all cut out. And I even told these people what was going on, and they still did it. So let's, let's be clear about this. A lot of this, this misinformation relies upon what I call the munchkin mentality, those 20 to 40 percent out of people out there who act like the herd, can't think for themselves. Yeah. And I've seen those people when their eyes go. It's frightening because you, they lose the connection yeah. with their soul, basically. Yeah. And that one thing explains how we have communist Russia, Nazi Germany. Every atrocity in the world is carried out by groups who've lost their con connection to their conscience. Um, so, yeah, so that's what they're using, and they do have that intrinsic understanding of human psychology, because these people who belong to a group can't think for themselves, they will also blacken your character by association. And that's what they're trying to do here with this. They're trying to accuse us of being racists. Well, it's, now, yeah, Can it's, I just say, Mark, I totally and utterly repudiate that. I have never, ever been a racist, and people will know that by standing up for the truth about 9-11 and 7-7, we are pointing out the racism of the other side, the racism of a government that blames Muslims for the attack on 7-7 without any sort of proper formal inquiry, basically. They played the race card about two years ago, and a lot of people jumped to my defence, which was nice, but really, this stuff shouldn't have got this far. The point is that the, we've got very lazy people out there, and people who are working for the government getting paid a lot of money to discredit people like me. All this I'm doing is presenting a show where I'm, I'm trying to help people from getting the houses taken off them, stuff like that. Now, what's very insidious about this is the fact that they've kept on going on me and, and people around me. Now, I don't consider myself to be a threat to the national security. The, these people, in my opinion, are total traitors to this country and everything that Britain is about. No, absolutely, but the, the problem is, is they use a very perverse yeah. definition of national security. They're yeah. using security in the sense of a collateral for a loan. So they're talking about the financing of the country. Now, you can argue virtually anything we do, because it exposes <laughs> yeah. this, is therefore um, it, not in the interests of national security in that sense. However, if we were to talk about the broader interests of the nation, yeah. of course this works in the interests of the nation. It's not in the interests of any country to live under a regime that puts out propaganda and lies. It's not in the interests of any country um, for a government 
government to go around oppressing the rights, not just of its own people, but obviously people halfway across the world where we've invaded countries. Mm. So we are standing up for the, the, what's called the common good under the, under the common law, and that's a phrase that can't be perverted. National interest, national security have different meanings in Babylon, but we stand up for the common good, essentially. And I think it's enormously suspicious this is happening now, Mark, because, as you know, people's voices start to take off, your show's starting to take off. I'm returning to having more of a public profile. So this is an attempt to try and cut us off at the pass and stop that happening, basically. Now, obviously, we rely upon the good sense of people out there. Of course, the 20 or 40% who are munchkins will believe this, but they'll believe us when we go and talk to them. They'll change their minds just like that. And I don't believe there's anybody out there who can think for themselves that will believe these, these allegations are in any way credible. No, they haven't, and that's, that's the good thing, in a way. Well, I think this is all kicked off after our infiltration special, because what... The, 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 the comments that were put underneath that on the YouTube video are, are very, very interesting. If yeah. you go to the People's Voice and have a look on the uh, Windows on the World infiltration special underneath, you get every single technique that's, re that's in these documents. So all this I did was post a link to the documents and said, uh, for anyone who wonders what these rather obnoxious and strange comments are, take a look at this. And all you have to do is click on the document and they'll see, oh, this is the handbook, and I think that's what they don't like. That's why they've had to counterattack. So they've now said, our website was brought down, coincidentally. It's, it's great. It goes, TPV fans. <laughs> TPV fans, yeah? This is on the TPV forum. Who do you think Mucky Windows really works for? <laughs> <laughs> it says, Tony Z and Miss Seven visited TPV and discussed her story with David Icke. Liz and other members who had a very warm welcome, which is totally untrue. Yeah. <laughs> Tony Z posted a copy of his complimentary email on his website, thanking TPV volunteers and staff. <laughs> However, the following day, Mark Windows in capital letters. <laughs> this is what they do, isn't it? They shout, they, 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 and then they'll put underneath something like racist or fascist, so people just see the three things and they go, oh, Mark Windows, racist, fascist. <laughs> yeah, it's a cross form of kind of <laughs> neuro-linguistic program. Oh, it's totally it's basic, yeah, but yeah. nevertheless, that's what they're doing. They try yeah. to associate your name with something like racism or whatever, yeah. 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 But it's a classic technique. Yeah, however, the following day, Mark Windows posted a very negative account of their visit on his Facebook page, even though he had never witnessed or been present at the meeting. Well, obviously, I didn't do that. And then it says, the seventh story was never aired on TPV, and Mark Windows quickly removed his deflammatory comments. I've got, it's a new word. No, yeah, they've got a new word there. They've got a new word out there. In, in GCHQ, it's called deflammatory. Watch out for that obviously one. Obviously, a combination <laughs> of inflammatory yeah, and yeah. defamatory. <laughs> and it's got, but not before they were copied for evidence, little smiley, okay? <laughs> so he says, curiously, the synchronicity.com website where Tony Z had posted details of the TPV visit and Miss Seven story with Tony Farrell videos was viciously hacked and taken offline. Was this just a strange coincidence or evidence of deliberate verbal attacks and intentional hacking by despicable New World Order agents? So what, are they yeah, accusing yeah. us of hacking them or what? I, mean, I think they, they took their site to down me, to us, yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. rather took it down. Or oh, it's a classic thing, isn't yeah, it? The, yeah. they, the other side will do that. There's nothing better when we were doing the IRA for one of yeah. our agents to spend a bit yeah. of time in prison yeah. to give him credibility with yeah. the IRA. And it's a bit like that. You subject to a denial of service attack, people who don't really think things through think, oh, they must be on the on our side because they've been hacked. But it's just a, a, a veneer, basically. It's Again, it's a complete false flag operation. Yeah, who do you think this scumbag mucky windows really works for? <laughs> and then it's got the, the um, link to this sort of this story that they've written which is it goes on for pages and um, it's allegedly... Yeah, so let, let's be clear about yeah. what Charles Seven is saying this woman. She yeah. is actually saying essentially that Seven Seven was carried out to cover up the fact that the BBC stole Strictly Come Dancing off her and she was going to be able to successfully sue them for that. that yes, plus, plus many other shows that plus were written before she was well, born. Yeah. She, she is actually libelling top lawyers in this country yeah. um, whose speciality at law is internet libel. So she's libel, libel people on the internet and getting us to try and get it, trying to coerce us to libel pe people whose speciality at law is internet libel. It seems to be that there's a whole network of these people working together, but there's not that many of them. Uh, and they're, they're turning up at everything from gatherings on UFOs to try and infiltrate people who are fighting the CSA. Yeah, no, absolutely. It doesn't need many of them, that's the point, because I say, it, you go into any group and you'll find small-minded people. I don't care what that group is, they'll always attract small-minded people. That's the nature of group consciousness. Um, so it doesn't need many of them to create massive disruption. As I say, with that 9-11 yeah. thing, I, when I was, they say, got, fell out with the 9-11 truth movement, 
Um, it, I don't think that all those people involved with that were working for the other side. Yeah. I think there was a, one or two people that were working for the other side who were stoking it up, yeah. but they relied upon the stupidity of other people. And when I say stupidity, I'm not talking about people who are uneducated here. What I'm talking about is a particular type of quite often academic stupidity. I mean, Annie got involved in you know taking action against me in 9/11, and she's got a degree from Cambridge University. But that Which just shows you yeah, that basically that's not necessarily a sign of intelligence. That's though. what I mean. Yeah, no, that's yeah. people being trained to think mm. in a particular way mm. by public school and Oxbridge, yeah. but they're not free thinkers, but they think they're free thinkers. They don't know they've been Sense programmed. of great mind control, actually. I've known yeah. quite a few of them, but they make very good politicians. Yeah. And can I just yeah. tell you a story as well about something We've similar to this? We've got about four minutes left. All right, because yeah. a quick straw man thing. This happened to me when I was uh, involved in looking at the Diana thing and, and Mohammed Al-Fayed. They did something very similar there, where they offered to sell him fake documents yeah. for $20 million. I was able to show those documents were fake. But that's another technique they use. They'll give you some information that looks reliable, you go make a big song and dance about it, and then suddenly they come in and say, no, this is all refutable, we can prove that, this is all nonsense. So when any actually good information does emerge, they then point back to that and say, oh, this is just more rubbish, basically. So that's another part of this technique they're using in terms yeah, of disrupting I mean, they, and the, deceiving. The, the techniques are, are, are just the same everywhere. They just use the handbook, which is great. And anyone can look at this. It's, it's a GCHQ document. It's on 21st Century Wire, and it's called Training Guide for GCHQ NSA Agents Infiltrating and Destructing Alternative Media Online. There it is. Really worth looking that up. Yeah. Now, in this case, now, clearly, Charles Seven... Mm cannot have all her marbles. She's clearly got some yeah. psychological yeah. problems if she thinks 7-7 seven, seven was carried out to shut her up, essentially. Yeah. So what we have here is the other side using somebody who is suffering mental illness to try and advance their operation. Now, how sick does that get? What sort of morals have you got when you use somebody who is mentally impaired um, just to be able to put forward your ideas and split up somebody who's telling the truth? That's how sick it is. She is a vulnerable woman who needs protection, not to be exploited by nasty people from the 9-11 truth movement and so on, who are using it for their own ends to try and disrupt what we're doing. And then the timing is absolutely impeccable because I know that the station is at the moment asking for more donations. This is coming out to go out to people and say, look, this station's full of racists, don't give them any money. And that's again, you cut people off at source and they've got no money. This happens because everybody in this country now is at risk. If you've got a small business, and you may be, have, have problems with the local council, they'll do this to you. I know people it's happened to, so it's not, it's not just people who are trying to investigative journalists like us, it's yeah. people in business trying to make a living. Their own government but is sending people in to destroy them. It's an absolute disgrace. That's what I said to people years ago about invasions of privacy. I say, you know, you may not actually have thought out the implications of this, but one day you'll get into conflict perhaps with the local council. And they will use embarrassing private information that they gleaned from elsewhere to try and discredit you in any court case and discredit you publicly. Which is That's what, exactly why what they're doing. So yeah, they're doing this here. With, we're going to have to wrap now. But um, to all those who want to bring down the people's voice and attack investigative journalists like myself, we'll be keeping watching those watching us, watching the people's voice. Thanks for listening. All